the giant Earthship Ark, drifting through deep space over 800 years into the far future. Its passengers, the descendants of the last survivors of the dead planet Earth, locked in separate worlds, heading for destruction. Unless three young people can save the Star Lost. Command, Medical Center, Emergency, Medical Center, Level G. Command, Medical Center, Emergency, Medical Center, Level G. Could someone be there? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. You know where to go? Command, Computer Room. Command, Control Bridge. Well, there must be a Command Medical Center here somewhere. Look for the medical symbol. shadow or a flicker of light or something. Well, should we go back? It's not matter which way we go. There's something on both sides. The medical center. forbidden place this dome of dead now hear me we may all be dead if we don't help each other there there are things uh secrets in the medical center that may help us all it's if... forbidden now i understand your fears but if we help each anyone other anyone who come here our enemy no friend try to take what's no, ours no friend listen you break law of vault no hear me grab please. him keep back Master Jack! Get back on shoot! Damn it, open the door! Quickly open the door! Guard! 
Garth! Get inside. I'll be all right. Hurry! Watch. Can I help you? Can I help you? It's a general information machine. Just like the one on the command bridge. Can I help you? Where are we? Your location is the Command Medical Center, Cryonic Records Division. What does cryonic mean? The science of halting life for extended periods of time through a deep cold process. The subject remains alive and may be revived. Are there really people like that here? Many who designed and built the Ark whose skills were indispensable have been so suspended and remain in the vault adjacent to your location. Rachel, we could get help. If we could bring back the right man, we could find out about the Ark and how it works. The people who built the Ark, are there any of them in the vault? Mm, 17 design and construction engineers preserved. Who are they? Mm, in alphabetical order, their names are Gerald W. Aron, James T. Atkinson. The first one. Where is he? Enclosure 7-8, row 5-4, section C, in the cryonic vault. Follow passage B. Can I be of further assistance? <laughs> Can I help you? I want Dr. Aaron, enclosure 78, row 54, section C. Indicator signal now activated in section C. Repeat, indicator signal now activated in section C. these containers are empty. Here it is, Devin. I found it. International Society of Electronic Engineers. Cryonic procedure completed July 29th, 2291. Rachel, we're going to wake him up.
wonder how we bring him out. You mean bring him back to life? No, not bring him back to life. Wake him up. Devin, I do not think we should. Such matters should be left up to the creator. Rachel, you talk as though you were dead. How do we know he's not? Rachel? Understand something. These people were saved for the future when they would be needed. Well, this is the future, and we need him. But maybe we're tampering with something we have no right to. Devin, please understand. We might kill him. Even if we did all the right things and did him no damage. If we brought the man back, do we know what might have happened to him, to his mind in all these years? Devin, please, let's think about it. Rachel, we've got no choice. There's nobody here to help us. We could never learn enough on our own to get the Ark back on course. We don't even know how to steer. And right now, we've got to get help for Garth. Now, I don't know what may happen to Dr. Aaron if we begin, but what will happen to all of us if we don't? Because you know the same thing will happen to Dr. Aaron eventually. None of these people would ever be brought back. Just may be that Dr. Aaron may be able to tell us what to do and even how to get out of here. Rachel, look at this. What is it? Phimec, physician mechanic, portable power unit for restoration of conscious life. Where are you supposed to put it? I don't know. Wait a minute, that looks about the same size. Fits. Try pushing one of the buttons. Danger, danger. Timer must be activated. Danger, danger. Timer must be activated. alive he'd move. Look his eyes. Devin, he is alive. <laughs> Subject will remain disoriented and unresponsive in first moment of consciousness. Memory slow to return. Vital functions monitor reports Satisfactory restoration life processes. Insert case history cassette into computer module. Case history cassette into computer module. Try it. Aaron, Dr. Gerald W. Social number 090-40-6930. Age, 40 years at time of trionic procedure. Emergency medical treatment required. Subject, suffered massive radiation virus. Incurable under known procedures. Terminal within two hours of revival. Full report, central medical computer, code A-34S. Repeat, subject terminal within two hours, immediate medical treatment required. Devin, we've sentenced him to death.
Who are you? <laughs> well, whoever you are, don't look so concerned. I'm fine. I never felt better. There are two others. Where? Forbidden Dome of Dead. They entered? Hmm. And you? Answer! My name is Garth. From where, then? Cypress Corners. Cypress Corners? Hmm. Where is that, then, eh? Down Long Tube. That's all he say. He bring new thing to fight, see? But I take away. <laughs> we kill others without that. Let me see. No. <laughs> Those others, you know them? They're my friends. We come from the same place, Cypress Corners. Cypress Corners? That is a dome far away from here. Not like this place, huh? No. Much better, you think? Better than our place? No, it is it is different. Uh, tell me different how then. Well, uh, Cypress Corners is warm. There is uh, sunlight and uh, trees, grass. And the dome is so big, it, it takes a man days to walk across it. Days? Huh? What do you mean by days? Well, day, sleep, wake. That is a day. Now, it takes a man two or three days to walk across Cypress Corners. Oh, so big! Uh -huh. Ah, it does not look like this. Huh? Uh, what uh, grass, what trees, and uh, what that uh, light, you say? Sunlight. That is a, a great bright light in the sky. Well, half the time it is light, warm, feels good. The rest of the time it is, well, it's like this, like in the tubes. <laughs> the ground is, uh, is soft and warm. You can lie on it. It feels good. Makes things grow. Grow? Well, well, things to eat. Uh, fruit, vegetables. Apples. Apples? Well, food. Uh, food. Food, yeah, food. food. <laughs> Have you ever tasted an apple? No. It is hard and uh, round, sweet, very juicy. Mm. We know nothing like sweet, but stories from our fathers, they tell of wheat and other food. <laughs> We have nothing like sweet or juicy here. What we do? I catch, I kill. I catch, I kill. Ah! Yes. Wait. We kill. <laughs> Later. First, we find others. Cypress Corners. <laughs> Cypress Corners. Be easy, Doctor. Be easy. My legs are all pins and needles. How do you feel? I'm fine. I can uh, feel my toes again. Where am I? Who are you? Uh, my name is Devon. That's Rachel. Mm. You're in the cryonic vault. Where are the doctors and the nurses? How come I'm not still in the hospital? Uh, because you were... A voice told us that you were in... Cryonic suspension. Who brought me back? We did. I, I, I can't remember. Are, are you medical personnel? 
Well, there are none. Only us. The Ark. We've landed. No, Doctor. Then we're in orbit. I'm not really sure what you mean by that. Uh, I know that we're traveling through something called space. Uh, I'm sick. I, I was sick. Then why the hell am I here instead of the hospital? I, I, I know, this, this is a cryonic vault. But why am I here? I was put in suspension. Radiation virus. How long have I got? Over 400 years since the accident. How long? Two hours. I'm sorry, Doctor. We knew nothing about your illness. Why did you meddle with what you don't know? Why didn't you leave me unconscious if you couldn't help? Because we need help! There's no crew! This arc is on a collision course! I I'm sorry, Doctor. Sorry, I apologize. Jane, my wife, I've got to find her. She, she's dead by now. She, she has to be. She, <laughs> I feel like Lazarus risen from the dead, and this is what it's like when we dead awaken. I, I was in on the planning of all of this. I, you know, I'm in your debt. I might have been in there another 500 years, but from what you say, none of us may survive. Dr. Aaron, you shouldn't be walking around like this. This is like my wife. Always worrying about me, worrying about my health. And my, <laughs> my memory's slow. I can't recollect. recollect. It'll, it'll come back to me. What's this about a collision? The sphere projector told me that the Ark is on a collision course with a Class G solar star. Wasn't a guidance correction set by the crew? The crew, the bridge. Doctor, I told you, there is no crew. They're all dead. What about the thermonuclear reactors? Well, we know the words, but we don't know what they mean. Oh. I see. Well, the Earthship Ark is driven by nuclear power. Oh, how long have you been on a collision course? 400 years. From what we have learned, it seems that Wasn't the... there a time prediction? No, there wasn't. Well, then the end could come any time. Well, we looked out from the bridge, but all we could see were distant stars. Doctor? <laughs> Doctor, we brought you back because we thought you'd be able to tell us what to do. Well, we're talking about the lives of everyone on the Ark, including my own. I'll do what I can. There's very little time. Maybe we should find someone else to help. I think Dr. Aaron should go back. Is this not a bad idea? Perhaps later on... There we may not to... be any later on. I'll do what I can, but I'm a communications engineer. I know nothing about reactors. A communications engineer? Yes, my wife was the nuclear engineer. We worked together on this project. Maybe, maybe she can help us. Wait, is she here? I've got to find out. If we talked about this sort of thing, it's possible. There must be an information to it. What's that? It could be Garth, come back. <laughs> I don't know. They live in the tunnels. We escaped, but they captured our friend Garth. They may kill him. Well, they may not kill him yet. They may be just using him as bait to get you out. Well, then I'll take the bait. Can you open these doors? Yes, but I'm not letting you out there without a fighting chance. Well, what can we do? 
Look in the supply cabinet. You may find some vials marked sedation. Be careful. Hold them upright. They may activate if they're upended. I found them. How, how many? There are four. Uh, that's fine. I need uh, something to, to bind them. See if you find some tape. Here, what are you going to do? Uh, look, look for a couple of masks. Uh, one for you and one for uh, Rachel. Is that enough? Are these yes. masks? Yes. The strap. Okay. Right. That's right, the strap in the back. Thank you. Good. They know come out! What they do in there? Can't see! I see. Kill this one now. <laughs> Who asked you? Do what I say. Break down door. Now. Again. Go. Again. Till I get ready by the board, and then throw it. Hey! their leader too we may be able to use them as a hostage hurry those vials only last a short time Rachel, see if you can find something to tie him up with. Concerning Jane Gregory Aaron. Double A-R-O-N. Spelling noted. What is your question? Do you have a listing for her? Under what category? The only category that matters. Was she placed in life suspension by cryonic procedure? Information not available. Videotape message C seven six eight four two to follow. Message for Doctor Gerald W. Aaron. I'm Doctor Aaron. Give identification code. What identification code? I'm Doctor Aaron. Jane Gregory is my wife. Oh, oh. Social number zero nine zero dash four zero dash. 
6930. Print out the following code on terminal keyboard. JGA-3497-LG. Dash dash JGA-3497-LG. Dash uh, repeat. JGA dash three four nine seven dash L V T JGA dash three four nine seven dash L V T Press bar marked visual playback. Jerry, darling, I asked them to let me tape this. After you were put in life suspension, I begged to be allowed to join you. It was a beautiful life, Jerry. I'll always love you for that. What made our life together so complete was that we shared everything. We supported each other so completely, even in our work. When the authorities decided only one of us could be processed for cryonics, I insisted it be you. I have to stay behind and continue my work. After all, I still have some time left. But the doctors say you don't. Not until there's a cure for radiation virus. I know one day there will be. And I'm sure you'll live a full, productive life. So, this is my goodbye. <laughs> Suddenly I have no words for it. Did you ever think you'd see me speechless? I hope you'll cherish my love, as I do yours. I love you, Jerry. Dr. Aaron, don't you think you should be getting back now? Um, it really doesn't matter. Oh, it does. It does matter. Oh, I've had everything that life has to give. I was in on the planning of the Ark, on the setting out, on the discovery of the universe, the greatest adventure of mankind. I was in love with Jane. Jane was in love with me, but you people... And the people you're trying to save, you're... You know what matters, so... Huh? Don't... Uh, don't let anybody... stop you. If you'd not come when you did, I'd be dead by now, Devon. I tried to tell them we were not their enemies. Friend, who are you people? Where do you come from? Our place of dead forbidden to strangers. 
You none of you leave this place. We wait. We get you all. Oh, wait, listen. Listen, friend. I, I know how it feels to be isolated. I come from a place where I'm an outcast also. But we must try to work together. We must try to help each other. Help us? Blah. No one ever help us. Strangers, come. Take what we got. My people will come. Listen to me. Devin? He's getting weaker. Garth, help me carry him back to the vault. I've been no help to you, none at all. I, the, the communication system of the Earthship Ark is completely integrated. The, the computers have everything stored, every kind of information. You, uh, you can plug in anywhere, but I could lecture you for a month, but you still wouldn't be ahead of it. Uh, but some of the domes have uh, uh, construction manuals, uh, written cultures, books, uh, and some of the... Thank you. Some of the, like Omicron. Uh, and some, some of the bounce tubes have a schematic maps showing the way to different parts of the, of the Earth ship Ark. You, you have to find them yourself and save yourselves and everyone on the Ark, or we're all doomed. <laughs> people, I, I wonder, that there were no such creatures on the Ark when, when we set out, that there were uh, vault guards, uh, security people who lived with their families near here on 24-hour duty, uh, isolated for hundreds of years, they, they might have degenerated into these people out, out here. Uh, uh, Down the tube, past the L bending, there's uh, an unused vault, uh, an agricultural dorm. It used to be used by a, a retired crew. If you could uh, get them to go there and, and settle, it, it uh, might give them a chance for a, a better life. Doctor, it, doctor, it's all right. It's all right, really. I'm ready. Hurry, Devin. I will see to the door. Fimec operates automatically, Devin. Can you, uh, use the activator? Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye. Jane. What about her? Well, we did not mean to overhear, but it must have been beautiful. <laughs> it was. I'm, I'm sure it'd be the same between you and Devon. You, you, you couldn't fool anyone about the way you feel, you know. Well, it's harder for us. In Cypress Corners, we do not speak much of love. Only duty to the elders. Well, yes, but you're not in Cypress Corners anymore. You've begun a, a long and difficult journey, and you have a, a duty now, a responsibility now, to the work and genius of all the people who built the Earth ship arc, and to all the people in each biosphere. I'm ready. Bye. 
goodbye, Dr. Aaron. Look. Climb down. Hold his head. Rachel? Bandages. There must be some in the medical center. I'll look. Now, hold him still. You got him? Yeah, now. Lie still. We will help you. Hold him, God. <clears throat> Now we will fix it. We will make it better. should hold. Are you uh, feeling better? Mm. Wait! They good people. I could die from this, but they take out and save me. Now we must be friends. Give back thing to fight. <laughs> Friends. Friends, there is a dome. Um, a place where you may all go and live a better life. Dr. Aaron told us about it. It's like the one I told you about. Our own place, Cypress Corners. We will show it to you. You show us this place. Go. lies behind this door. You never get through a door like that. You will. But what if they lie?
It's true. Everything you say, true. We will live here. decide what to do about the Ark. Garth, I am not going back. Rachel. My place is here. No matter what the danger? No matter. us each week at this time on the giant Earthship Ark, 800 years into the far future, for the adventures of three young people, Devon, Rachel, and Garth, as they search through the strange and mysterious worlds of the Space Ark biospheres for something or someone who can help them save the Star Lost.